Just in the bus, and you yeah. do the bus part. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but he gives you money every week. Every day. Every day? Yeah. And you save from that money? Yeah. And what is that money just to do? Only for saving or just paying your uh, no. statue? <laughs> but you have to pay for that. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, you said transportation, so I thought that we were going to be spending money on your. Uh, your money on the transportation side. <laughs> How much, how much time per week and, and is that in, is a separate subject or is that included in mathematics or in other subjects? Actually, uh, it is included in social studies. Okay. But uh, we also uh, when I said, talk about that in English because I'm an English teacher here now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have some kind of report tags and report tags can be very Do you know about the difference between the different types of interest rates? I see that you have interest in most of the gold savings, but also different types of bank accounts. What is it? What is it? Ada yang bisa menjawab. Tadi kan katanya sudah mendapatkan pendidikan tentang keuangan. Ada yang bisa mungkin menceritakan kepada Ibu Ratu, mungkin ada berbagai jenis layanan keuangan, berbagai jenis rekening tabungan. Uh, uh, 10%. 10%. 10%? Is it so? 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2.5%. 2
Okay. How much do you do e-commerce and how much do you do uh, Ibu. online? Yeah. Ibu, kalau untuk penjualan, seberapa banyak yang online, berapa banyak yang langsung di sini? Bukalapak, sama they, they use Bukalapak in Tokopedia. So, so for the e-commerce platform, they use Bukalapak and uh, Tokopedia. So those are both marketplace, online marketplace. Okay. But how much of the sales do you do, do on the online? 50%. Taking the picture of the ID card, taking the picture of the <coughs> signature and also the, the face of the customer. Okay. So you have facial recognition uh, issues? Uh, not, yet, not, not facial recognition, it's just for uh, our okay. Okay. Not yet. Someday. 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 Inclusion is uh, giving the people the possibility to access, but not only access to use a diversity of financial services uh, for their own good. What do I talk about? Uh, diversity of financial services is not only about loans, loans to micro entrepreneurs, but also to SMEs, women, agriculture, but also savings is extremely important. Even making payments, one gives it to for granted, one has it, but a lot of people have to travel long distances and incur great costs and also security issues in order to make simple payments or get payments from family members or even the government. Issues like insurance are extremely important. We talk about, you know, we don't only have to get the people out of poverty, but keep them out of poverty. But what do I mean by that? If you have a family member that just got sick and you cannot pay the medicine or the doctor's bill and you don't have a health insurance, then you will probably have to sell all your livelihoods to be able to make those payments. So an insurance that would be extremely helpful for you. So all these issues is actually managing people's finances for their own development and of course investment opportunities. I spoke to a lady today, she said she started uh, selling some bread to some schools and today she's basically doing 400,000 rupees per day net income and uh, she's even selling more products and now she has quite a standing in the community. I mean that's what we call empowerment and definitely economic empowerment. And Your Majesty, more than 2 billion underpaid Indonesians, especially as you mentioned, impoverished Indonesians, need access to financial services to benefit a country that is known as the world's largest island nation, uh, ASEAN's largest economy, as well as the fourth most popular country in the world. Yes, yeah, so, so like you rightly said, we have still 2 billion people to go that we need to get financial included. It used to be 2.5, so we are advancing uh, very uh, steadily, which is something that we are all part of. Um, and from those 2 billion people, there are scattered right, of course, in many countries. But I would say that 25 uh, countries explain 76%. So um, Indonesia is the third largest single country with, that needs to do a lot of inclusion in terms of financial. So there's, uh, from those 2 billion people, 5.6% are Indonesians. So that translates in more than 100 million people. So that more than 100 million Indonesians should be included into the financial system. Just to give some numbers. In Indonesia, a lot has been done in 2009. Level, there was only 20% of the population, of the adult population. Now it's at uh, 2014, was uh, 36%. So we are advancing, but a lot more needs to be done. And of course, Indonesia is a country with 17,000 plus islands. Not all of them are inhabited, but infrastructure, getting payment systems going. 
Well, ambitious, but nonetheless successful. Your Majesty would like to once again thank you so much for your time on CNN Indonesia. Well, Madam, thank you so much, and I hope that you could still keep on covering the subject in the future to come because it will make a difference to the Indonesians. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.